Hello everyone! Welcome to the introduction of new structural regional economics. This course is a collaboration between School of Economics and Management of Nanchang University and Institute of New Structural Economics of Peking University. I'm Ru Zi Li, the course director from the School of Economics and Management, Nanchang University in China. And my research mainly focuses on new structural, regional economics and sustainable development goals. And if you have any question, please feel free to contact me via email. So, in this lecture, I'm going to introduce you to the outline of the new structural, regional economics, some reference books, and our teaching team. Okay, let's get started. First of all, let me introduce the main contents of the introduction of new structural regional economics. This course is based on abundant cases of regional economic development in China and fully demonstrates China's experience and wisdom in regional development and governance. Especially since the reform and opening up, China has taken advantage of its regional resource endowment to promote the transformation and upgrading of regional industrial structure, which has provided valuable experience for the economic catch-up of other developing countries in the world and laid a solid foundation for the formation of new structural regional economics. It mainly includes seven chapters. The first chapter is the origin of the new structural regional economics, which mainly focuses on the development of new structural regional economics from the overview of China's economic development. As you all know, there are significant differences of resource endowment between different countries and regions, and especially within China. Then, in the face of the huge regional gaps of the resource endowments, how has China achieved remarkable economic development since the reform and opening up? In fact, the new structural regional economics is derived from the development path of China and other developing countries, theoretically and practically. The second part is some classical theories of regional development. For example, growth pole theory, pole and axis system theory, center periphery theory, and so on. By understanding these theories, it will help us strengthen the intuitive thinking of regional issues. Chapter 3 is New Structural Economic and its Policy Application. In fact, New Structural Regional Economics is developed on the basis of new structural economics. This chapter will focus on the theory and assumptions of new structural economics. It is helpful for our theoretical understanding of the endowment structure and changes in industrial structure. Chapter 4 will introduce principles of new structural regional economics, such as regional externality and endowment structure transformation and they are an important basis for us to analyze regional problems using the new structural regional economics. Chapter 5 introduces the practice of new structural regional economics in developing economies. From a global perspective, the new structural regional economics has guided the economic catch-up of many developing countries. For example, Ethiopia and other African countries, and Uzbekistan and other Central Asian countries. Chapter 6 is the introduction of some practice in China. As we mentioned above, new structural regional economics is derived from China's economic development since reform and opening up. Therefore, there are lots of cases such as poverty governance, China's county development strategy, and so on. 
The last part is a demonstration of China's development achievements. China's economic and social development achievements will reflect the guiding role of new structural regional economics in regional development strategies. For example, the targeted poverty alleviation strategy, the Yangtze River Economic Belt, and so on. This will further facilitate our understanding of China's strategy of developing the regional economy based on its own resource endowment structure. Okay, the above is the outline of introduction of the new structural regional economics. So, if you would like to study this course well, you're going to need some bibliographies for your references. Mainly divided into two categories. Some are related to the new structural economics. Some, on the other hand, related to economic geography, spatial economics, and regional science, and etc. Books in new structural economics, such as Demystifying the Chinese Economy, New Structural Economics, a framework for rethinking development and policy, the industry policy revolution, the China miracle, written by Professor Justin Ifu Lin. These works may help you understand the new structural economics. Others are related to economic geography. For example, Handbook of Economic Geography, Spatial Economics, Introduction to Geographic Economics, and etc. Through advanced prep work and learning of these texts, I am sure everyone will find yourself understand the basic content involved in this course in a better way. Just in case, if you know some Chinese, then you may also refer to some Chinese textbooks, mainly the works of our team in the field of regional economics. Of course, if you aim to fully master this course, then I hope you will have equipped yourself with theoretical knowledge related to microeconomics and macroeconomics, as well as the accumulation of theoretical knowledge of development economics. If possible, then it'll be awesome that you happen to know some simple facts about China's economy and society beforehand, which will definitely benefit you a lot as this course involves large amount of cases regarding China's socioeconomic development. And lastly, hope you familiarize yourself with new structural economics. Finally, let me introduce our teaching team to you. Our team is mainly composed of six lecturers. The first being Professor Justin E. Fu Lin, former senior vice president of the World Bank and chief economist. Professor Justin E. Fu Lin devotes himself to the research of economic development in developing countries, advocates the theory of new structural economics, which is widely recognized by peers of world economics. The second is Professor Yao Ben Liu, Vice President of Nang Chang University. He has long been devoted to the research of regional economy and ecological economy. Next are Dr. Ru Zi Li from Nan Chang University, Dr. Han Hua Xiao from Nan Chang University, Dr. Jia Yu from Peking University, and Dr. Q Yun Zhao from Peking University. So, I sincerely hope that in the future, you will better explore and dig into the new structural regional economics. In particular, form a better understanding of China's economic theory and China's economic and social development practices. Okay, thank you all.